Okay, let's move to the fun part. We'll look at some tasting tips and how we go about tasting chocolate to get the most out of our enjoyment. By virtue of some of the decisions that were made uh, making this chocolate, you're getting a little bit of caramel. Anybody got a little bit of banana on the finish? No banana? A little... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Tell you what, because you did, you get a chocolate bar. You get a gift. <laughs> Don't you wish you had gotten banana now, eh? <laughs> if you want to pick up number two. Now, again, you want to look at it. Obviously, by the color, we're not dealing with the same thing here. You want to smell it? Already by its smell, you should be picking up that you're going to be dealing with something probably a little bit bitter. Now on the tongue, what's it like? What's the attack like? A little bit uh, the side of the cheeks there, it's a bit mouth puckering. And then once you chew on it a couple of times and then swallow, notice the evolution and the finish. What is that like? Give me some of your, some, some of your impressions. Banana? <laughs> <laughs> Nice try. <laughs> what do you guess would be the percentage of this chocolate? I got 50. I got 50. Do I hear more than 50? Do I have 52? 52. Do I hear 52? 60. I got 60. Do I hear 61? <laughs> Let's see. Well, you said 61. So you get, you get a gift too. This is dark chocolate with pink peppercorn. Now you're, all, you're, you're close, but not quite. This is a 62% and it's an American made chocolate. Scharfenberger is one of 12 companies at the moment that actually uh, does everything from scratch, selects the beans and so on. They were purchased by a division of Hershey uh, two years ago. Uh, while that made some of their uh, diehard fans kind of frown, uh, one thing that it did is certainly uh, improve their distribution. They have them at Wegmans if you like this. I don't work for them. This is not a selfish plug. Uh, let's move on to number three. What is this like? Now, what's the attack? The attack will be very different in this case. Very dry, right? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I, I get thumbs going <laughs> different ways. Down, thumbs down, that's kind of normal. Um, with chocolate, we know that there's an age and there's a gender difference. All things considered, women tend to prefer sweeter chocolate. That changes with age. As your taste buds evolve and change, lose a little bit of perceptual acuity, most of us tend to move toward darker, less sweet type of stuff. Uh, so I'm not surprised to see that some of the younger people don't like it. Those who said thumbs up, what did you get from this? Very woodsy, nutsy. This is an 86% and it's the same manufacturer as the first one. The characteristic of French dark chocolate is on the evolution and finish. It typically does not hit you on the head at first. It tends to stick with you in a sort of woodsy, almondy type of way. I'm using very scientific words right now, am I not? <laughs> and I'll just sort of throw something at you if you like to be on the bleeding edge of food and wine pairings. This goes well, absolutely marvelously well, uh, with an oatmeal stout. Especially if you throw in with that some dried cherries to sort of round it up. I see some frowns. Uh, give it a try. It's not that bad. I, I've done this exercise and I have a lot of women coming into the tasting saying, no, 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 me, I don't like beer. Don't even try. And when I blink or if I leave the room, I come back and there's no more stout and there's no more chocolate. Thank you very much. You've been great.